This video demonstrates an interesting little technique called the method of differences. Now in part one we're asked to show an expression. So when I add together, in this case subtract, this fraction from that fraction to get this result here. Now when we add or subtract fractions, we put brackets around the denominators, and of course I want to have the same denominator. So I'll times top and bottom of this by 2r plus 3. Take away and times top and bottom by 2r plus 1. So they now share the same denominator. Well, 2r take away 2r is just 0. And 3 take away 1 is 2, so as required, we get the, we get the required expression on the right-hand side. Now this technique in reverse allows us to find what appears quite a complex summation. Now if I compare this to this, it differs just by a factor of 2. So I could rewrite this as 2 over 2r plus 1. 2r plus 3, with the summation there, as in the question, with a half outside. A half of 2 is just 1. I can then replace this part of the question with this, because they're the same. So, this becomes a half summation of r equals 1 to 30, of rather than this expression, I've got a 1 over 2r plus 1, minus a 1 over 2r plus 3. Now, the next bit is the clever bit. I begin to put some values in to see what happens. So I let r equal to 1. When r is 1, I get 1 over 3. Take away 1 over 5. I then let r equal to 2. I get 1 over 5 minus 1 over 7. And then, final one, let r equal to 30, I get 1 over 2, bracket 1 over 61, minus 1 over 63. Now what's clever is, is that if we look at each successive bracket, that 1 fifth there, which is negative, will cancel off with that 1 fifth there, which is positive. And it keeps on going, they all cancel off as we go along. And so all we're left with is a half of a third minus a half of 1 over 63. This becomes 1 over 6, take away 1 over 126. There we go. We've managed to find the summation of quite a complex expression as a final fractional answer.